Wow. Like hey, welcome back to Laser Engraving 911. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use dental putty to make awesome fixtures for your laser engraving projects. So if that sounds like something you want to get into, then buckle up, get your pen and paper out, because we're about to get into it on Laser Engraving 911. All right, so on today's episode of Laser Engraving 911, I am gonna show you how I make permanent molds using dental impression putty for weird shaped objects. If you're in the laser engraving business or you're about to get into the laser engraving business, you are going to surely from time to time have a customer bring you something that does not want to lay flat on your laser bed. Now there's lots of ways to jig things up and make things lay flat. But if you know that you're going to have an item that the customer is going to bring you over and over again, or you have maybe 50 or 100 of those items, it makes sense to make a permanent reusable mold for that item so you can quickly set it up underneath your laser and get to engraving. And today, I'm going to show you how to do just that. All right, so let's talk about the tools that we're going to use today. And once again, I've listed links in the description below for everything that we're going to use for this tutorial. So the first thing you've got is a five by five Lego flat. And the reason I like to put the mold on this is you can see when I actually make the impression, it's going to impress the little Lego dots as well. So that way, no matter what mold I made, I can just lock it into place on one of these pads when it's time to engrave one of the objects that the customer brings in. It's really important that you do your impression on top of one of these and make sure that you're, once you make your impression, it can't be shifted around. So obviously it goes without saying, the next tool is the dental impression putty. I'm using this brand here because it's fast set. It literally sets in like five minutes. You've got the catalyst and the base. It's a two part putty. We're gonna show you how I mix those together and make the mold in just a second. I've also got a little tiny spirit level here and that's important for when I'm pressing down the object to make sure that it's level before I let go of it, why it freezes in place and makes the mold. So I also wanna talk about when to use this and when not to use this. I don't really think it's practical to use this for every little item that comes into your laser engraving business. It's really just for high volume items where you've got 50 to 100, or you've got an item like I have with this customer who every week she asked me to engrave these lighters. They don't like to lay flat because they're rounded on the bottom. So I made a mold specifically for her lighters. So every week when she calls in some custom engraving on these lighters, I can just set my mold up, get going right away. So let's go ahead and talk about the molds for a second. So these are molds that I've made for these objects for jobs that I've done in the past. This was a little hat clip where the customer needed me to engrave the logo or actually some initials right in this flat area. This is an item that definitely does not lay flat. So I was able to make a mold of this and then as it set, make sure that the surface that I wanted to engrave laid flat in the mold. So when I locked it in, this plane is flat. Here's another example of a object that I do on a regular basis. I made a mold for this wine opener because I didn't like the way that it laid with this little bump on the bottom here. It didn't want to lay flat and it kind of wanted to rock back and forth. And you can see how accurate this uh, dental impression putty is. It really captures every little detail. So just showing you an example there of why I like using this material. So I've been using this mold for hundreds and hundreds of times and it still keeps its shape, which is one of the great things about this dental impression putty. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and make a mold and I'll show you how this all works. All right, so let's get down to business. So like I said before, this is a two-part dental impression putty. And I've also listed an alternate impression putty down in the description below that's a little bit cheaper. However, it does take a longer time to set about 15 to 20 minutes where this sets in literally like under five minutes. And like I've said in before in my other videos, time is money. So I like this stuff better and I'm willing to pay a higher price for it. So it comes with these little scoopers. You wanna scoop out even amounts. So whatever that even amount is, get one scoop right there and then get a one-to-one -one scoop of this stuff right here. And it's not an exact science like 
I mean, it is, you wanna be close. So I'm gonna use these two parts here. So then I'm going to take the blue stuff out. One of the other benefits of using the dental putty is it smells delicious. It smells like uh, toothpaste. You're gonna mix them together. And keep in mind you have a very short time, maybe about two minutes to get this done. And you wanna keep mixing them together until they become a nice kind of light blue color. I just stretch it out, maybe give it a couple of rolls like this, fold it over itself and you want it to be, you don't want any swirls in there of white, you just want it to be all one color. And depending on what kind of object you're going to make a mold for, like if you know it's going to be kind of a longer object like this that we're going to do, you could kind of make your initial shape like that. If it's going to be a smaller object like that clip I showed you, maybe you don't need that much, you could just make a ball like that. All right, so once you've got your base shape that covers most of the surface area, you're gonna wanna set it on your Lego pad there. And you wanna just press down, it doesn't you don't have to smash it completely flat, and you just kinda make your impression, I'm just pressing down gently, and then I'm checking to make sure that I'm level, from left to right, and then I'm gonna check my other point, and it looks like I need to bring that forward just a little bit. And then I'll kind of just hold it here for about 30 seconds just for the initial set. And then I'm just going to make sure that it stays level. If I need to make any final, final adjustments right there because it's still soft. And see, it wasn't even 30 seconds. It's already kind of locked in place. So at that point I can take my level off and just go ahead and let that set. It takes about five minutes. Five minutes is solid. And then we'll come back and we'll take this tool off and I'll show you the impression that it made. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and take this off of there and I will show you how detailed of a mold that this made. So that just came right off of there. And as you can see, there's no gunk or anything left over on the tool. And if you can check that out, that is <laughs> super detailed. It did a great job of capturing all the details of the bottom of that tool. Like I said, it didn't need to be the whole tool. It just needs to be enough for the tool to lock into place. It's very snug. It will not move or budge in any way whatsoever, which is one of the reasons why I love using this product so much. Let's get that out of there. And like I said before, on the Lego base, it's really easy to just peel it off and you see we have our little lockers in place. So next time we need to use it, we can just lock that right back in there. And that's how easy it is, folks. So let's go ahead and set this up over at the fiber laser and uh, we'll throw an engraving on this and then we'll call it a day. All right, so we're coming to the end of the tutorial here. And as you can see, I'm pinning my plate up here, getting it ready for some engraving. I always like to lock my plates down as well. After I get it aligned to make sure that the plate doesn't move, I use a little bit of tape on my table just to do that. And one of the things I really love about this setup is that these molds are permanent, they're reusable, and they're so accurate and they hold the tool or the object so tight that you can literally set the object back in the machine and engrave right over what you just engraved without worrying that you're going to be misaligned. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Laser Engraving 911. Hello, I'm Robert Murphy with Big Creek Family Dentistry. And I approve we're using polyvinyl siloxane for jigs. Great.